Hey, what's up? Sam here from MoneyJournal.com. If you're joining me now for the first time, in my introduction video, I gave a quick overview of this series on Market Samurai, keyword research, and my objective for this series. Today, I want to share with you exactly what keyword research is, how it'll get traffic to your website, and how Market Samurai is going to help you save a ridiculous amount of time to get there quicker. So if you're ready, let's dig deep into keyword research and SEO. Keyword research is research that bloggers, website owners, and internet marketers use to see exactly what people are typing into the search engines. So after knowing approximately how many people are looking for a set of specific keyword phrases, we use this to our advantage to let the search engines know, hey, uh, my site is about whatever keyword phrase you're looking for. So keyword research falls under the search engine optimization category in the world of internet marketing. So it's exactly what it sounds like. You're optimizing your website for search engines to see it, know it, and share it. And so keyword research is huge, especially as search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing are constantly making their search algorithms a little more complex day by day to bring us the most accurate search results. So in a nutshell, here's how search engine optimization works. So I'll just use Google as an example because it seems to be that that's what people care about. So we have Google here, excuse my poor penmanship, and they have spiders. Doesn't really look like a spider, but that's okay. And what these spiders do is they primarily read the content on the website, and they're able to get a good idea about what this website is all about. So they're reading all of this content. From there, they add it into their search index, which is basically a huge dictionary of everything that we're looking for online. So we're searching through their index for the most accurate and relevant keyword phrases. Now the most important question is, how does Google organize their rankings? So everyone wants to be one, two, or three in Google. And it just comes with a lot of hard work, maybe some luck, some wicked content, and a lot of good relationships. So no one knows exactly what Google search algorithms are, uh, but Google has released to the public so we know at least how we should strive to get great rankings. And the first point in that is actually uh, in developing great content. So the first thing we want is great content. The second thing and probably the most important thing are quality backlinks. Backlinks are links that come from other people's websites to yours. It's basically a website's way of saying, hey, I can vouch for these guys over here, they have some great content. Now when I say quality backlinks, I don't mean quantity. So maybe six or seven years ago, quantity backlinks was a huge and internet marketers focused on building a whole bunch of crap backlinks. And these usually came from directories, blog comments, and a bunch of other ways that automated softwares were built for them. Now thankfully those times have changed and now more than ever Google is just weeding out all the crap from the great. And don't get me wrong, quantity isn't a bad thing, but you want that quantity of links to be from good reputable sources. People love to use CNN as a great example of a quality backlink. And we're not necessarily going after a backlink from CNN. If you contact them somehow and say, hey, my website has some great content, please give me a backlink. They'll probably ignore your request uh, and it'll just be thrown into their junk folder, spam folder. Uh, and it's just not worth the time and effort and I guess emotion of being rejected by CNN. And so we're not necessarily going after these kinds of backlinks, although it is great quality, but we're looking for ones that are a little bit more realistic. So for example, if you know uh, a blog that writes great quality con content in your niche, you may want to actually contact them if you have some kind of content that their audience can actually benefit from. And even though we may be getting a quality backlink in return, what we want to do is to be able to offer them uh, value through that. And so if your site is wickedly popular and, and there's proof of it from a whole bunch of reputable websites telling the search engines that it's great, 
then you're well on your way to better rankings in the search engines. And I haven't really scratched the surface of search engine optimization, but it's good to at least get a basic understanding of how it works. Okay, so now why, why are we going to use Market Samurai? And the reason why I chose Market Samurai over some of the free tools like Google Keyword Planner is simply because it just does all of the work for you. It uses integrations from Google, Bing, and Majestic to generate keywords for you, provides stats on thousands of keyword phrases, and it ultimately sets you up for the most accurate, thorough, and efficient way to do some rock star keyword research. So now that we're past the basics of keyword research and search engine optimization, it's time to kick on over to my second video on how Market Samurai works. You'll see what the software does and how it'll actually help you get started with your keyword research. Before you head on over to the next video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're as pumped up as I am. It's probably a good idea to either buy or download the free trial of Market Samurai through the link below in the comments. You'll be all set up to work with me through my examples in my next video and it'll just be a lot more practical if you're doing the exercises yourself. So I'll be uploading some killer tips on how you can get more exposure and increase your ROI while working from home. Things are about to get mind-numbing in part two. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.